Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am happy to welcome you to Savalmash channel. We are near the Design and Technological Bureau Savalmash. And here is Alexander Sudorov as always, squinting at the sun, because it is peeking out beautifully, and helps everyone who works on this construction site to work with a smile and a good mood. And behind me, you can see the wells, which confirms the connection of the utility sewerage system. Hooray, hooray, hooray! We've already talked about it, but I can't avoid saying it one more time. Especially taking a look at how freshly waterproofed they are. And in fact, the scale of the works done can't but make you very happy. In this video, let's have a closer look at what processes are going on today and what is being worked on in the ground. Let's go. Again, if you pay attention, it is quite problematic to move around the site again, because they are constantly digging it up, digging, burying, backfilling, and so on. You have already seen these mountains of soil, which is removed almost every day. And here we are getting to another significant event. The work on heating networks. These are heating mains. Now the subconcrete has been done, and before that the ground was excavated, the trench was dug, the foam work was installed, then the subconcrete, the waterproofing. We are now waiting for the delivery of the trays and will continue to lay them. You can see that in the part that is now coming to your screens, there has already been backfeeding in some places. It means that in accordance with the technology, waterproofed trays were installed on the subconcrete, they were also waterproofed on the outside, filled in with sand, tamped down with a vibratory plate, and pipeline systems were laid. Connections, joints, compensators and welding have been completed, and now we are waiting for outputs. And I will ask the cameraman to look at that point now. Here we see that the side fence has indeed been dismantled. We have moved outside the construction site. And this indicates that the tie-in will take place in the near future. Let's go outside a little bit. The connection to the heating network, which is off-site and comes from the distribution center. which, let me remind you, is behind that pink building. And let's walk a little further in that direction. I think now our cameraman will show what this territory looks like after we blew it up, so to speak. We took out the soil, brought in the backfill, put in the utilities. Remember how it all looked? Now I'll ask you to show what it looks like now. Everything has been restored to its original form. Here is the fertile layer of soil. The lawn has been sown, it is already sprouting. There is very little left. Here I think we'll need to sow some more. Here are the bushes and trees, all alive, all healthy, green and beautiful. And a small testament to all the mess that was here is this patch. And we will be digging it out again in the near future. This very part. We'll make the connection and bring the whole thing back to its original state in the same respectable fashion. Namely, the entrance, the asphalt, the lawn and everything necessary. The works are serious in this part, but they are not the only works that are taking place on the site in terms of the ground. For this we will move to the back of the building. Along the way we can't help commenting on what is going on in this part of the site. There is a bit of cleaning and redesigning going on here right now. The slabs of the temporary road will be removed shortly. These wells and brings will be moved, the waste container will be moved and consequently another additional area will be leveled here, which we will need. And hopefully in the near future 
everything will be leveled down to zero here, and backfilling will be carried out with the subsequent formation of asphalt. For now, that's ahead of us. As you can see, there is quite a lot of machinery at the construction site now. One machine replaces the other, an excavator is operating, a tractor is running, trucks are taking the ground away and bringing in sand. There are indeed a lot of machines. We still have not come to the back of the building, we started in the wrong place. As we said before, here we have a high voltage power line, which is being prepared to enter the building. We can see the coils, we can see the excavated ground, we can see the earthing, and this interesting structure with corrugations. This is the implementation of a temporary drainage system to prevent the site from flooding on rainy days which now occur periodically. Therefore, an improvised structure was created, and the water is immediately diverted into a storm drain. We are lucky to be in the area now, because active work is ongoing, but the guys have probably gone to lunch, and we are not disturbing anyone. We can show you in peace what it looks like and what it means. As a reminder, there are four transformers behind these very doors. And this is how the electricity is brought in. Also note that behind this wall there is a distribution room. Electricity is brought in there, it runs outside, and then it is brought to each transformer. It's done with all safety requirements in mind. And, of course, a few words about earthing. Front loops are great here. There's no other way to put it. And such grounding will allow the research part of our complex to work without noise and interference, and will enable us to produce high-precision results that will meet all the requirements, more precisely the requirements of the laboratory. Digging, digging, and digging again. Laying and burying. This is serious. Continuing the subject of the earthing loop. As you can see, it never ends, and it will be present all around the perimeter of the building. And now we are going down the temporary path again. To the ramp group. And what can we see here? We are now standing on the slabs of the temporary road, we see the same contour, we see a white geotextile in the distance. There is a huge amount of sand backfill on it. Trucks are constantly coming in, vibro rollers are working, and the ground is being compacted. Let's repeat once again, if you look from this side along the perimeter, you can see trenches for the external lighting. The moment of complete dismantling and removal of the fence is approaching. And all of that within a week. That is, the pace of work is very fast and of high quality. The guys know their job and work in a well-coordinated manner. And we can see the results on our screens. Now, take note of the ramp height. And the ramp is made in such a way as to enable loading and unloading of materials from a truck. Let's go there. Otherwise, they will actually roll us in the ground here. So, the ramp height is rather high now. Which means that the layer of sand, gravel and asphalt is planned to be very big. And naturally such measures will allow us to create a fairly solid platform, thanks to which, in the future, we will be able to freely engage in direct activities, which the Design and Technological Bureau Savalmash is designed for, without being distracted by any renovation work, etc. So everything is of high quality and to the best of our ability. From this angle you can already see that there is very little geotextile left that has not been covered with sand. 
Again, we can see the abundance of machinery. And that is not the same machinery that works in the front part of the building. It is another excavator. You can see the scale of it for yourself. No need for comments here. Let's go inside the building. Here we have new construction material, which has just been delivered to the site. This is also the construction material for the administrative and utilities building. So as you can see, there is a great deal of work to be done. But work is going on inside the building as well. Extensive cleaning has been done, everything is in order, and all the construction waste and debris, which inevitably come up in the course of the work, have been removed. We try to maintain a high level of cleanliness in addition to carrying out direct work. So if you want to stay up to date with all the developments in the life of the Solomash project, then be sure to subscribe to our social media, click on the bells and likes, and be the first to hear about all the nuances, adventures, challenges and achievements that occur during the course of the project. Thank you for your attention, for your participation, and see you soon.